So several of you have probably already seen some of my stream tech videos on how to get you know, really good crisp picture with decent bit rates and good settings for Twitch, streaming on Twitch and or YouTube. We're mainly focused on Twitch for this video. And in reality, a lot of us, especially in the United States, or but wherever you're at, suffer from bandwidth restrictions because it doesn't matter what kind of money we spend on hardware. You know, we can have the best PC set up, the best home network. If your internet service provider is a potato, it doesn't really help you. I mean, if you can't get that right, if that is out of your hands, which for most of us, that's gonna be out of our hands. There's nothing we can do about that. So if we have low bandwidth, low upload bandwidth, everything kind of builds off of that. And if we can't get that straight at the beginning, we've, we're really hamstrung. So this video is gonna show you some ways for people that have really restricted bandwidth, how you can actually cut your resolution down to take advantage of your bitrate and actually end up with a better looking picture. So we're gonna focus on 540p. Yes, I know, 540p. Most people laugh when they think about that, but I want you to see the results you can get with 540p. And all the footage going forward, I'm gonna do several examples. I'm gonna do 540p, these are pre-recorded examples of 30 FPS, 60 FPS, all of those running at 2000 bit rate. That's 2000 bit rate. And then we're going to do some Minecraft and show like in-game. Minecraft is a first person game with a lot of fast movement. And most of us know first person fast movement is some of the hardest stuff to stream at a decent quality because there's just so much happening on the screen. You need a ton of bit rate to handle that. But we're gonna use some one of those examples. I've actually also thrown one in there for if you wanna go up to 3,500 bit rate, you can do 540p 60 and actually come out with a pretty decent looking stream that way. And remember, if you look at your Twitch analytics, you can dig down, used to good anyway, dig down and whenever I've looked, over 60% of the viewer base is on mobile anyway. So most people are on smaller screens. And whenever we're talking about these high resolutions, we're talking about resolutions, you're not really gonna notice that big of a difference till you get to a larger screen. So again, whenever we're concerned with trying to target 720p, remember resolution does not impact bandwidth. When we're talking about bandwidth, resolution has nothing to do with that. It's strictly bit rate. So for example, we can have a 1080p video that you recorded with your phone. Let's say that's five meg. Well, that's just gonna be a few seconds long. Now let's say you record a 720p video with your phone and it's only five meg. Well, that's gonna be longer. Or if you do a five second 720p video, that's gonna be smaller than the 1080p. It doesn't matter because it's gonna take someone just as long to download five meg, whether it's 1080p, it's five meg of 1080p or five meg of 720p. It all comes down to bit rate and that's what bit rate is. So that's what we focus on. That is what everything builds around. So try not to focus so much on resolution like, whoa, well, if I, if I could stream, you know, 1440p, if that was possible, I mean, there's not very many people would be able to download that. Well, not necessarily true, because remember, it's not resolution. It's just the bit rate you have to throw at that, how big you have to make that file to be able to have it legible. So that's what we're doing here. We're optimizing the bit rate we have available, and then we're doing calculations based off of that. But one of the first things you can look at before we get to the videos, we can go to this website. It's bitrate calc. Dot com. Now, bitratecalc.com will let you give you an idea. And again, so our width is, for this example is going to be 960p. Output stream resolution is 540p. So what we're doing here, you can put in your frame rate and what percentage of upload. I believe it defaults to 60% of your upload. Because remember, again, you can't give 100% of your upload if you only have, you know, four meg of upstream bandwidth. 
and you run a speed test to find that out for sure. I mean, you can't dedicate all of that bandwidth just for your stream, especially if you're multiplayer streaming, you know, you're playing Call of Duty or something like that. I mean, the, the more you allocate to your stream, the more it's gonna hurt your game because then you're gonna have, you know, latency issues, lag, you're gonna cause more trouble for you. So you have to balance that the best you can whenever you're using this calculator. So I'm giving you some examples and videos. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's an example of 540p, 30 FPS at 2000 bit rate. This is Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It is using the RTX, ironically enough. So kind of ignore the RTX part. But let's, I just wanted to do some running and moving, see what kind of, because generally fast movement is where you, when you're gonna get the blurring, all the fast movement, first person stuff in particular, because there's just so much happening on the screen. But as you do that, that's why you see, these are some of the hardest games to get crisp and clear. And that's why some people will ask questions like, hey, I'm not getting the same results, you know, whenever they're looking at other videos, like with the recommendations, like you, this looks clear, but whenever I do it, it doesn't. And a lot of that comes down to the type of game that you're playing. So first person stuff, again, fast movement, all of that goes into account. So this is gonna be one of the rougher things that you'll try to stream. So we're doing this is again, 30 FPS, 540p, 2000 bit rate. Running, jumping, see how this looks i'm not able to see how this looks right now either until i look at the recording afterward now my native resolution is actually 1080p that's one reason i picked 540p because you want to do even integers whenever you're you're playing with these adjustments so same for frame rate you want to do even integers you want to try to stick to 60 or 30 i know there's a 48 fps option but that's not an even integer so you can have some strange jitter and frame pacing issues if you play with that i don't recommend playing with that 540p again, I mean, that's half of 1080. So it was just some simple math we're doing. All right, let's cut this out and I'll do one at 60. So here we are doing some, this is gonna look rough. I can about guarantee it's gonna look rough. This is 60 FPS, 540p, 2000 bit rate. So we're gonna do kind of the same thing, the same place around a lot move around this should probably look pretty rough it is at only 2000 bit rate so it just goes to show you if you if you really insist on doing 60 fps it's going to be rough you're going to have to be able to dump some bit rate at it to be able to achieve that again 540p 60 fps 2000 bit rate so just see see how it looks to you let me um, go to bed real quick. So we have more of a fair comparison here. So we have like the same day cycle. There we go. Daytime. Just like one of the other videos. Running, jumping, looking around a lot. I'm back. Okay, so with this one, we're actually doing 3500 bit rate at 60 FPS, sticking with 540p. Of course, all of this is 540p demonstration. So this should have a noticeable improvement in movement, less screen blur stuff whenever you're running around, jumping, first person. Again, this is Minecraft, so we know this is gonna be one of the rougher games whenever it comes to getting a crisp, clear picture on it. So, I'll just give you a good idea of what you can actually achieve at 540p. So again, imagine, and you may be viewing this on a phone, but so when you're viewing it on a smaller screen, it's really not going to matter that much. And you can really come out with a decent looking stream. You're going to hurt yourself quite a bit whenever you're trying to do, you know, 720p at too low of a bit rate and stretching yourself too thin. 
So I hope that's been helpful to you. Confession time. Now I'm curious how many people noticed that the introductory segment of this entire video, I had actually recorded that in 540p. So I did 540p, 60 FPS, 3500 bitrate for that intro segment that the whole video started with. You didn't notice because I upscaled whenever I encoded the finished product, I upscaled everything to 1440p, but it still should give you a pretty accurate depiction of what it's going to look like in product and what you can accomplish. Now this final segment here is back to my typical 1440p, 15,000 bitrate that I use for recording. But let's look at specifics for the settings that we actually used in these other previous videos that I demonstrated just to give you an idea of where we made those changes that we did for those videos in case you're not familiar. So we're going to go to file and settings in OBS. Now this is the output tab is one of the big ones you're going to do for streaming. We're going to do it's always going to be CBR. Now we're going to do this is where you're going to set your bitrate. So I did 2000 for mine and this is my typical setting. So this isn't for this video. Uh, this is where you'll change that. Again, use this calculator here, this bitratecalc.com. To get an idea, make sure you run a speed test to what your actual upload bandwidth that you have available is. We're gonna go and set the bitrate here. If you can handle more, again, the more bitrate you can throw at it, the better. If you're watching this video, it should be because you know you have low bandwidth and you're struggling because your ISP is just killing you. And we're all familiar with that at least one time or another. So you'll set that there. I started with 2000, but feel free, just play with it. You can adjust that on the fly. That's the main thing you'll do. Again, the quality may be marginally better in my videos here because I am using an RTX encoder with Max Q. So remember, if you are using an NVIDIA 10 series or below, except for the 1660 Ti, they have the last generation encoder so it can still get pretty good quality but it may not match it's not going to match you know identical so don't don't scream at me in comments like well i did these settings and it doesn't look at all like that so this it's something to play with again if you are an amd gpu person i need to get my hands on an amd gpu because it's going to be completely different for you and I just don't have anything to really play with to tweak and give you guys and girls, you know, decent settings for that. But right now you need to focus on your CPU encoding instead of NB Inc. or any of the AMD crowd out there. Hopefully I can get my hands on, you know, an AMD card sometime to play with it because there are some new things that have come out that could help those. But that'll be another video if I can get my hands on it. Max Q is what we did. So you want to bump that up, whatever your preset is for that, max Q all the way for that. Now, for our video resolution, I can't adjust it because I'm recording, obviously, but this is where you set that. Your base canvas, you'll never touch that. Like if you're 1080p, you'll leave it 1080p. When You'll have this drop down right here for output scaled resolution. And right here is the only place you don't need to rescale anywhere. Don't need to do anything else. This is the only place you need to change your resolution. Output scaled resolution. And you'll do that drop down. It'll be a 960 by 540 for the 540p resolution. I do recommend 540p, especially if you're doing 1080 because that keeps these even integers. You know, that's exactly half a good number. I did by cubic sharpened scaling. It's a lighter load on your GPU. If you struggle with GPU or you just want to be resourceful with your GPU, I can't really tell that big of a difference. Um, you can use Lanxos and that can help in some cases. I haven't really played with that for 540p. That's something else you can experiment with. Common FPS values, that's 60 FPS. A lot of people are going to want 60. If what you're doing, you are fine with 30 FPS. I'm telling you, it will make it a lot sharper. Or a lot less bitrate if you can and are willing to do 30 fps again that's something you can play with so i hope this video has been helpful to someone if you have any questions just let me know you can always just comment in the set in the in the youtube comment section that's fine otherwise if you want to hop in the discord we do have a discord server we have a gilded server whichever you're more 
comfortable with. I'll have all those links below. You can always go to classiccaleb.pro. Has all my contact information for the different servers, my my schedule for when I'm streaming on Twitch. You know, I'm a tech guy that experiments a lot across a lot of platforms and stuff. So it's it's becoming easier for me to just tell people to go to classiccaleb.pro because then I can just always if I'm playing with something else like oh actually you're gonna find me more over here nowadays for streaming or whatever I always have that up to date on that website so that's always gonna be your best bet I hope this has been helpful thanks